Let's do this beautiful red carpet look that was at Anya. Sectioning out section one, which is the two little pieces in the front, and in the crown, it's so important that this is a nice and tight, secure place. So a small section four, sectioning off section two and three, and you will see in section five that I bring it up piecemeal. That way it could be smooth and clean, fine-tuned and sprayed. The sectioning system allows you to have a very clean up do because you know where you're going and you know the steps that are going to get you there. So I'm going to bring in the sides in the very same way, adding to this top knot, my favorite hairspray for <laughs> dry working spray, Paul Joseph. And now bringing up two and three. This creates just a really great non-slipping top knot that you could either add extra hair to if you need it. Now cleaning again and getting ready to flat iron. I know the rule is not to flat iron, but that is only if you're going to try to recurl the hair. You never want your client to flat iron her own hair. But this is a very low heat and just getting it nice and smooth so we can have some pulling and beautiful shape in this look going through the whole piece. And you could, if you wanted to, at the very, very beginning, blow dry your whole client's head, but she had some curl in her from another updo. And you know, if your client has natural wave, you're gonna wanna do this as well. So sectioning all the pieces and just really getting a smooth, clean foundation and also using some shine oil. Now taking the very front just a simple little twist. Work with your client as far as exactly how she likes this and pinning inward toward the ponytail on the crown. Just a little flip over and you will see that I don't go straight across with bobby pins, that I split the difference and this way you can grab all the hair that you need. Now sectioning that top knot and thinking about the hair that's gonna sit in front of the elastic will help you adjust where you put it. So we have a half knot going in right here. We want to establish the height. We want to establish our very, very front piece. This gives the client the okay and the safety of knowing, okay, this is heading in the right direction. I'm happy with it. And she will calm down and you will just be able to get to work. Now those silver clips are your second pair of hands and I'm gonna pin that end, flip it under, right next to the elastic. You will see throughout the updo that I use those pins. Going in with a hairpin and a bobby pin, and you're kind of just making some splices in your knot, and you will see more as I go along how that works. Now taking a topsy tail, you want that woven look, and this is how I just Split my piece, pinching and pulling, spraying and cleaning, and just trying to get that very, very front to look super nice like she has in the photo. Again, use those silver clips because this helps with your design process when you have a system and you're not just pinning something in place, but you're pinning with the silver clip, you're looking, you're shaping, you're forming, and then you put in your final bobby pins. Again, that is drooping a little, so I lifted it up, split it, and just creating those valleys, those highs and lows. Working all around the head so you don't run out of hair. You kind of want to work side to side. So here's another knot, just a half knot. And again, we're gonna put the silver clip in and we're just gonna get it shaped and pinned. And there's some tweaking that happens here, but there is not so much permanence. You don't want it super permanent yet until the client likes everything. And then you can tweak more later, which you will see me do and spray. But right now we are going for shape and balance and texture and a clean look.
taking that side piece and dragging it through another curl, just trying to get a little bit more height in this updo and always wanting to have balance. I'm kind of pulling on that that worked its way through so I can get a little bit more fullness and a little bit more dimension and then I'm going to pin it down with a beautiful long hairpin which is really going to help hold it in because it's on top of the head it's already in an elastic and you can see the beautiful split by sticking that hairpin in just gave that top piece. Now we have the middle piece in the back and it won't get a knot. It's not as dense. It's just going to kind of get a half a fold. And these are just things you will have to adjust. If your client had all the thick hair in the world, every section could be a hair knot. But as I'm working now, I'm working with what's left. So there, sticking my finger in that barrel and pushing it down will help get some great shape. You might want to watch that section again. My ends of that curl are also going to be used and it's amazing how much volume you can get out of pinching and pulling. So just because I'm at the very tips, I'm putting in a little elastic and that'll free me up to be able to just maneuver that curl. Cleaning and going in again, splitting with my fingers under there and just really controlling where I want those curls to be. Because of the system, I have creative freedom. The hair is up, it's secure, and now I am free to really be creative. My last little piece, giving that a little bit of shape. Now if the balance did not need it. I could have just tucked it in and disappeared it, but I wanted this to have a little bit more detail and feeding that through with the topsy tail again. Silver clip on the other side, using my bobby pins and hair pins to just secure that, in a sense, fan it down. There you go. And checking everything for balance. Now I'm going to go in and clean and tweak. The client has given me the go ahead. She likes everything she sees. I checked in part way. And now it's a matter of literally thinking about the wedding day, the dancing, the headpiece, the tiara, and making sure this is secure. Using your hairpins to comb the little flyaways, checking for balance. And the most important thing right now is to keep your cool and to just keep working till it does what you want it to do. You're not correcting mistakes. You're not doing anything wrong. Look at that. Beautiful. Thanks for watching.